I really welcome back to my updated for 2024 PC Daisy community server modding guide. And in this video, I want to talk about the uh, renting or buying process for your Daisy server, so how many slots you should uh, think about getting, and the location for the server as well. Before we start, though, I'd just like to remind everybody that in the description below this video, you'll find a link to this playlist, which hopefully by the time you're watching this video will be full up with these videos. So the idea is that if you already have an idea of, of how to get started with your PC Daisy community server, you'll be able to pick and choose which videos you watch. Also, it means you can watch them in order. You'll also see a link to the previous video and the next video as well, so you can work through them. Hopefully, I've recorded them in some sort of logical order. And you'll also find a link to my console community server guide as well playlist because I'm kind of re-recording these videos with the emphasis on PC but sometimes it can be interesting to look at it from that slightly different console angle and of course if you're coming from console that's probably the playlist you'll want to watch not these ones okay so let's get started so what you want to do is consider who you're buying or renting your server off now in my case my PC community servers come from Nitrado, well known for being the exclusive console provider of Daisy community servers. Um, and I use Nitrado because, well, because they're cheap. <laughs> um, so they're good value for money. Um, I also do have uh, a relationship with Nitrado. If you look in the description below this video, you'll see a link to and I try to now that is an affiliate link, an associate link. So I do get a cut when you when you do that. So I appreciate it if you do use that link. However, what I would say is that I think that with Nitrado, because it's so cheap to get started, you can really dip your toe into server modding and really see if it's for you. You know, do you enjoy it? Is it what you thought it would be? Or do you want to go back to playing on public servers or other people's community servers? So use the link in the description below this video and you'll go down and you click on Daisy and here here we here this is where we start making our decisions about how many slots. So when we talk about how many slots we're talking about how many players can be on the server at the same time. Not the total number of players that can play on, but the number of players that can play at the same time. And you may well look at the four slot server and go, well, that's not many, is it? I've got like six or seven mates or ten mates who I want to play on, on my server. Um, so surely I should get a ten or a twenty lot slot server. Not to start off with. <laughs> you don't want to because when you're setting up the server you're going to be installing mods and doing changing and doing lots of testing sometimes which will include restarting the server and wiping the, the, the server so you're not going to have that many players on it to start off with anyway maybe just be you as you're making sure that everything's working and even when you have you know more than four players wanting to play on the server it's pretty rare that they'll all be playing at the same time especially if they're in different parts of the country so 100% are start off with a four slot server um, and you're going to get that server working now once you've got it working and you have got a number of people who want to come onto the server and play on it and probably more than four at the same time then move up to 10 slots don't jump to 20 or, or even more because trust me tw a 10 slot server can support an enormous number of different players on that server over you know, over a 24 hour period because I've been amazed. I mean, I, I've run PC servers for quite a long time now. I must admit, they you know they're they're behind paywalls, they're PVE, um, and they're not that active. But there there are, I do have like some servers, um, a console servers that are ten slots, where probably a hundred people have access to them. But you know, a hundred people don't play them at the same time. It's very rare that they get near to full. So. I would say only upgrade when you really need to have, to have to. So when you get a 10 slot server and people are complaining on your Discord or emailing you or via Facebook or whatever, saying, look, I can't get on, it's full, I'm queuing up. That's when you would consider going to 20 slots. And the big reason for this for me is that these aren't super expensive, but the expense does add up. You know, a 10 slot server over a year, you know, you're, you're taking well over £100 here. Um, and, and that, that's a lot of money, you know, to anybody. 20 slots, you know, all of a sudden you're looking at £200 for a year. Whereas with the four-slot one, 451 Now, what you can do is you can just play for 30 days 
and you, you'll pay your four pounds fifty one. And let's say during that time you think actually this isn't really for me. I haven't got the time to maintain or, or do this. I'm going to go back. So what you spent? You've spent the price of a couple of posh coffees or, or a pint of beer. It's probably cheaper than a pint of beer in London. Um, and you, you can you can walk away. Um, so so that's what I'd say. Also, a big thing is that. You, when you really get into this and you use some of the tools that I'm going to show you how to use, the server that you have in the cloud, your Nitrado server or from somewhere, someone else, that isn't your test server. What you're going to be doing is you're actually going to have another server that is going to be running on your own PC or your own laptop, and that's the one that you're going to be doing all your testing. So you're going to be installing mods, you're going to be um, playing around with them on your local server, seeing that everything works, and then uploading them to the cloud server like this. Now you may also be saying, well, how do they do it so cheap? Well, the reason for that is that these are um, shared servers. So Nitrado, for example, in London, they'll have a, a data center with racks and racks of PCs. And your particular four slot Nitrado DZ server is one of probably dozens that are running on, on a PC. Um, and so the performance cannot be the same as if you were paying paying for a dedicated server. So a dedicated server is where you hire that whole PC and it's just for you. But they can be very very expensive to to um, to hire. Um, and you re you'll really be looking into them when you're an advanced server manager with a large community of people. Um, also with a community server, uh, say from Nitrado, because of the way that they manage it, um, it's quite well protected in terms of you not being able to mess it up too much. And they make it quite easy to reinstall things as well if you <laughs> mess it up too much. That does mean you don't have access directly to some of the files that we have um, with dedicated server. But what, as you're getting started, you won't, you won't miss that sort of thing. So. Four slots, go for the four slots I have to start off with. Now, location. Now, this is an interesting one because you may well just assume that, I tell you what, you know, because say you're in the UK, you would automatically go with London. And as you can see here, we can see we've got the ping. So this is the kind of delay. So for me, from my computer to London, it's only 13 milliseconds, whereas the German one in Frankfurt is 23 milliseconds. So you say, well, surely you would go for the London one. Well, think about where your other players are going to be coming from and it could be that actually quite a lot of your players are maybe on the european mainland so they think oh well, actually germany is a better place than that we, we should we should put that in germany or it could be that maybe you've got a lot of players who who are from across the pond and then you got to think okay so which side of america are they on are they on um, New York City side, so the East Coast, or are they on the West Coast, where you've got from Los Angeles? Do you have players like in uh, Australia? So you you know you could have a Sydney server, you know, to run down there. So to have have that uh, have have that as a consideration, I would probably say for most people, even if you're in the UK, you're probably better off taking out the Germany one. So that you can have, so European players have, have uh, better ping because the ping twenty three milliseconds is nothing anyway. Trust me, it's nothing, um, and that will give them a nice experience. What happens is, as you get longer ping or a bigger delay between the time it takes the data to go from the server to your PC and back, you can end up with connection issues, and with Daisy, you end up with sync issues. So this is a situation. Maybe you've had it where you're on a server and you go to open a door and your character can't open the door or you can't put things into your hands, or you can't pick things up, or you crash when you're driving a car when everything seems to be okay. And that's generally a sync problem where your local PC, the state that it thinks the game is in, is different to the state that the server thinks it in, is it is in. So you have a this difference of opinion <laughs> in what's actually happening, and it goes out of sync. And with the new features in Daisy, you can also get kicked for that as well uh, automatically but you know by the server the server will kick you and say you haven't got a good enough connection but i would probably recommend for most people in europe the german one is a good one to go for um let's click that up there and that's it and then you you kind of kind of get started um and for four pound 51 or whatever the american or the european equivalent is you will then have your server and what will happen is you will then have access Let's go into this where I can find it. You'll then have access to your dashboard. So let me log in. And you'll see some. Let's go down to a PC one. I've got too many servers, haven't I? 
So there we go, one C scale speed of gaming PC server. And we'll go into the web interface and you'll start to see something like this. And we're gonna cover how we change these in a future video. So there we go. Remember in the description below this one, you'll find a link to the next video. Uh, you'll find a link to the previous video and you'll find a link to the playlist as well. So you can pick and choose what you want to watch. If you found this helpful, hit like, you want to see more the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.